Hey everybody, so today uh, we're going to look at Code Wars again. I'm going to do a, a new challenge. Um, I'm going to show you uh, kind of what I do to, to, to set up these challenges. Um, and I haven't really looked at this challenge. I glanced at it, but I haven't um, started or Googled anything. Um, so this is going to be me trying to figure it out on the fly. Uh, I'm gonna have to use Google, pr probably. I'm I'm assuming, um, depending on the problem. And so, um, what I'm gonna do? So I've already created a, a Jupyter notebook, and I renamed it. I do know the name of the um, challenge, and then I'll paste this stuff in when I or the actual function when I um, when I. Uh, actually start the training so uh, this is the challenge um, write a function that will return the count of distinct case insensitive alphabetic characters and numeric digits that occur more than once in an input so um, we count the times um, that any character um, occurs more than than once um, so uh, if it you know shows up if it's a a b then a is one one um there's only one duplicate in that those that the the, the string of of characters and um that would be my output just one and so here are some examples like a b c d e uh is zero because there's no um duplicates uh a a b b there's two a a um, B and then capitalize B. There's two. And then um, you can go through the rest of li this list and kind of see, um, you know, what it's doing. Uh, well, this one's a good example. So indivisibility, it, um, it, uh, the I occurs six times and nothing else occurs more than once, but we only count that as one. So anything more than two. So anyways, um, what I'm going to do is start this challenge. So over here under train, I'm going to click train. And then I'm going to copy in all of this stuff. I think I've got an idea of the challenge. So I don't, uh, I'm just going to jump over here, paste this in, and then we'll just do what we need to from here. I also like to replace this with um, the challenge's name. And that's just for my reference, so when I, if I ever want to come back to this challenge. Um, Code Wars documents that stuff pretty well. Like it, it documents your, your like you can go to your account and see all your past challenges and your solutions, and you can refactor the code, which is pretty cool. So if you ever, I always like coming back and refactoring, like my Dynamo scripts. I always find that to be a lot of fun, just to see where I was and how I can improve it. I, I find that to be a lot of fun. So um, Code Wars does allow you to do that, which is kind of cool. So um, here's our function. And in Jupyter Notebooks, I like to just get out of a function because I don't, I don't really... Um, I guess it would be easy to just um, kind of do write out the function and then put in our value or whatever, uh, which in this case, you know, would be some string. But um, I um, I kind of just like adding another cell and and then just quickly creating like something like this a string. One, two, three. Let's add a duplicate in there. Four, five. And then, I mean, real quick, just trying to loop through it and just running little bits of code this way instead of, you know, going up here into the function, writing it, and then coming down here to actually run the function. I don't, like, it might be lazy of me, but I don't want to jump around cells like that. I can just run this one, you know, and then copy it into a function later. So uh, for I and um, or actually 
we can do um, for C character and string. Um, and then I just want to print that. Okay, so we've got all our, our characters. And then I think we can actually get a, a sum, maybe. So, um, like, I, I think we can get a count. So let me... Um, I'm, I'm going to take this out. Okay, so we can get a count. Um, and I think to make it easy, um, because a character can show up a ton of times, and we don't really need to count um, one two times because this returns the count and we already know what it is we know it appears two times so we don't need to loop through this and, and go to that so I guess what we could do is um, well I maybe that's a, a good way to do it let's see what's this if we do list what happens okay so what we can do is probably make this a set and then and the difference between a list and a set is it's pretty much um, you know you right off the bat you can see that it it uses the curly braces but it also has um, it doesn't allow duplicates so what we can do is loop through this and then use the count string and then just return, you know, return everything that's above a certain count. But we'll use that set so that we're not looping through characters we already know um, that, you know, we already know those are, 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 you know, two or more or whatever. We already know the count. So there's no point to loop through it, you know, one, uh, reading the value of one two times, uh, if that makes sense. Because we'll loop through, we'll get that return. Okay, the count is two. We'll loop through the next one. Okay, we already know that, but we still get the return. So anyways, what we'll do is a set. And then um, what we can do is take that, put it here. Take this, and now we're looping through, and we'll put this there instead. So we loop through, and we get the count, and then we could say like, if string count is, um, well, if it's above. So if it's if it's greater if string count is greater than two, or I guess it would be one. So if it was greater than one, we would then um, just do a count. So if we do one, or actually uh, we'll just say this is our do uh, duplicate oops um, and that being the name of the function I don't know if that would actually be a problem or not but we'll try if not we can name it like duplicate count list And oops, that shouldn't be a list, it should be zero. And then down here, we'll just do plus equals one. And then that'll just do 
Um, that's just a shortcut for saying take this value plus one and then when it loops back through it um, that value then will be um, one plus one and then it'll be two plus one three plus one and so it'll keep um, the number will um, every time it goes through it'll go up by one and then at the end we'll have a count um, so at least that's the idea so here's our string the output of this should be just one because the only value in here is this or the only character in here that is duplicate is this one uh, here and so if we run this um, and then print this value and actually we'll put it down here and you'll see we get one and then if we add two we should get two if we put three we should get three and then the other part of the issue was um, um, it was was it, regardless on if it was uppercase or lowercase um, they were kind of the same so and what we can do there is just set everything to lowercase which I can't remember that function um, so I'm going to look it up real quick. Um, I think it's just like lower. Um, yes, that is it. So what we can do is just do um, and I think at this point uh, we're pretty close to finishing this challenge. So I'll paste this in here and then right below here we'll put our text equals text dot lower now we'll just replace all this string um, variable names Okay, so we've got text equals text lower, duplicate count equals zero, and then um, for C, okay, so everything should should work. Now we'll just put a return down here, and then, oops, not that. So you can test your function in the um, code wars down here, which I think doesn't a it doesn't go against your score, but if you attempt it and fail it, it does. Um, but I always like to go in here real quick and just grab one of these. But th so I I'm not sure if this is like for all of the uh, katas, but one of the like when it does do the attempt it does a whole bunch of random tests and sometimes I think for the most part you don't see those I don't know like you don't see the inputs you just see what it's supposed to be and what yours was um, so you have to almost like guess at the the problem or, or try to look at the output and, and identify the issue um, which makes it a little bit difficult because sometimes in their in the test the tests that they show um, are the four that that's typically there's always four like in the test test ones and those are usually the simple ones but there's always something that that throws something off which is kinda kinda interesting um, so that's two the expected value was two so I think we're we're good I th I'm, I'm comfortable in, in pasting this in here so I'm going to test it. Okay. And that looks good. So let's actually attempt it. And it's perfect. So um, it finished, everything went well. All 105 tests are cleared and 
now I can just submit it. And um, and that's it. I'll do another video probably doing something like this. I kind of find these like, I really like these. They're a lot of fun. I'm only on a six Caillou. You start at eight and then you move down. Um, I've never messed around with the one Caillou's. But I heard that those are like four or they're multiple day challenges, which I find super cool. Um, and I look forward to, to getting into those at some point. But I've been trying to stick to uh, six or five Caillou's. Um, or I guess since I'm moving in Caillou's, I try to stick at the, 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 um, the level I'm at and then... Um, I try to do one below that. So the I'll do um, some some katas at the level I'm at, and then um, I also try to do one level below. So, anyways, um, hopefully you like the video. These are just for fun. Um, I'll probably do some more. And if you like Code Wars and want to add me, feel free to do that. This is my. Um, name if you want to look it up uh, feel free to send me a um, request or however this works I'm not sure I don't have any um, allies or anything so I'm not entirely sure how that works but anyways um, thanks a lot for watching guys I I'll see you in the next video